In 2023, as many as 6.7 million Americans were living with Alzheimer's disease, according to the CDC, and by 2060, that number is projected to hit 14 million. Even in the state of Utah, from 2020 to 2025, the projected rate of change of prevalence is 23.5% increase. That's a very significant increase in the amount of people who are finding out that they have Alzheimer's disease. And although there's still no cure, pre-screening and tests can be a way to get ahead in planning and preparation. It's estimated that about half of dementia cases go um, undiagnosed or delayed too far into the progression of dementia for there to be any treatment or intervention. To aid in this, Dr. Schaefer helped create a cognitive test called Q-Beans. And really the whole point of the Q-Beans is to provide some additional data for evaluating an individual's risk for developing dementia in the future. Simply put, the test tasks patients with using a spoon in their non-dominant hand to move beans to a set of cups in a given sequence. So what happens as they work through this trial of moving the beans around, their brain is actually trying to learn strategies to move faster and to be more accurate. And so we're not actually testing how fast they are or how accurate they are. We're not really testing their motor function. We're testing their motor learning. We're testing the brain's ability to improve on this task as they keep trying it. Dr. Schaefer has partnered with USU, Dr. Fouth, and her graduate student Josie to determine if the test can be effective when used in clinical settings. In the healthcare setting, it's most likely to be adopted if it's fast and it's easy to use. So from a data standpoint, we're looking to see how easy they could administer the test. I will also be timing them to see if the test was accurately conducted. Ultimately, this work is aimed at helping give people advance notice of the potential for cognitive decline and allow them the chance to take action sooner. For this to be in clinical settings, potentially one day, assisting individuals figuring out if they have cognitive decline and what's going on and how they can prevent it and supporting the families that sounds really exciting and something I would like to be a part of.